as capable as Shaper 3D is, there's one feature still missing, and that's the ability to create 3D type. Not sure why this hasn't been implemented yet, but since this is a highly requested feature, I'll show you a neat little workaround for it. Let's start. To bring our text into Shaper, we'll use Illustrator's extensive export abilities. Unfortunately, Illustrator for the iPad is missing this feature, so we'll have to use the desktop version. What we need is the DWG format when exporting. This is a format coming from Autodesk and it's used a lot in CAD, so as you can expect, Shaper 3D understands it no problem. Before exporting though, there are a couple of things we need to do. First, we need to convert our text into outlines. That can easily be done with the convert to outlines command. The next thing in our to-do list is to make sure that the outlines are not overly complex. Depending on the font used, we could end up with outlines that have a lot of extra points. That can slow down Shaper, so before exporting, we should make sure that the text is using as few points as possible. We sure can extrude the text without optimizing it, it's just that the more complex the shape, the slower the extrude and other commands will perform. Thankfully, we can very quickly reduce the amount of points just by running the simplify command in Illustrator. With all that sorted, the last thing to take care of is the placement of the text. I like to have my objects in the center of the world, and I would like to do the same with this text object. We just need to know how the XY coordinates work in the document. So the zero zero point is this top left corner. All measurements start from here, so all we need to do is snap our text to the far left corner of the document. Now we are ready to export. So we go to export and then export as, and finally in the pop-up dialog we need to switch to DWG. And that's it. Transferring the file to the iPad is quite simple. I'm using AirDrop here because it's fast and convenient, but you can use any of the other ways to transfer a file. The benefit with AirDrop is that it also handles the import to the program in one fell swoop. And now we can start working with our text in Shaper. Simple as that. It is unfortunate that we cannot perform all these steps required on the iPad alone. I've checked all other applications on the iPad and none of them allow DWG conversion. Affinity Designer, Graphic, Illustrator for the iPad, Vectornator, none of them allow this. The only application I could find that exports in DWG is the Concepts app, but I just couldn't figure out how to convert the text to outlines. Any other shape though can be exported without issues. It's just missing a command to convert the text to outlines. Or maybe there is one and I just missed it. So if anyone else figures out how to do that in Concepts, let me know. Aside from that though, if you're doing a lot of sketching in the Concepts app, and certainly there are a lot of architects and designers who use it in their work, it's definitely the perfect fit for Shaper 3D. So keep that in mind the next time you want to work on Shaper 3D and you already have your design in the Concepts app. And that's it, it's a really simple and easy procedure. Now, in other news, I'm currently working on my next video, and I think you will also find it interesting. It's an idea I had for years now, but I kept postponing it. It has the potential to turn out great, but it can go either way. You will soon find out. I will take my time though to try and make it as good as possible, so probably there won't be a video next month. But do keep an eye for it probably the month after that. If you follow me here or on Twitter, I will make sure to post an update so you won't miss it. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one.